Aaliyah. We got a letter from your father today. My father? Yep. Is he okay? Apparently he's better than okay. He's even gonna come back here to Port Niagara. What's he coming back? And maybe sometime this weekend. When Uncle Gary and Aunt Maureen told me my father was coming home, I wasn't sure what to think. Ten years have gone by since I last saw him. It was like we were practically strangers. As instructed by my parole officer, I had written a letter to my longtime friend, Reverend Ron Mason, explaining my intentions to return to Port Niagara, and in turn, he was to notify the Millers of my homecoming. Reverend Mason. Kate. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, come in, come in. Thank you. Twelve years ago, Kate Miller's son, Brandon, caused a car accident which claimed the life of my wife, Fiona. <sighs> Losing my wife was unbearable for me, and when the judge handed down a light sentence to young Brandon, I went to visit the judge. I did the crime, and I did the time. My name is Lewis Berry, and this is my story. My deceased wife, Fiona, was a twin, and her sister, Maureen, who was in the car with her that night, is also one of the survivors of the accident that nobody can forget. I can't. I Losing a sibling is very hard, but in Maureen's case, losing her twin was extremely difficult. Maureen barely survived the accident. She was in a coma for three months. After many years of reconstructive surgeries by top surgeons, Maureen would never look the same. And every time she looks in the mirror, she's reminded of that terrible night. For me, I buried my wife 12 years ago, and my life has never been the same. And now I've come back to Port Niagara to rebuild a relationship with my daughter who I haven't seen in 10 long years. <laughs> 